What is up guys and gals? Welcome back to the Nerd Castle. Today in the world of indie games, I've got something a little bit special for you, but this one comes with kind of like reservations. So today we're going to be taking a look at a title called Pathogenesis. What is Pathogenesis? Pathogenesis is an interesting little title that was suggested to me on my Discord where you are effectively playing a single-player DayZ top-down isometric experience, but the game comes equipped with a very unique inventory system, and from the things I've seen so far, this game could be huge if it gets handled properly. I've played it enough to realize that the promise is there. However, we never buy games based on promise around here at the Nerd Castle. We buy games based on what is good right now. So what I figured I would do is I would take you out for a spin with this game. It is currently available right now on Steam, but this should be kind of treated like a tech demo, like a proof of concept. They've basically given you a giant Russian or Ukrainian village that you can run around here. There's zombies everywhere. There's loot all over the place. You survive, you thrive, you do your thing. Uh, you shoot guns, you do lots of tactical stuff, but the game as of right now doesn't save, it doesn't have a storyline, it doesn't really have an objective or anything else that you're going to be working on. It's merely just a map that the player- oh, there's a zombie right there. It's merely just a map that the player can fool around- well, he didn't see us, okay. It's merely just a map that the player can fool around on, and you need to be aware of that fact, because I know there's some people that just like instantly jump to the buy button when I put up a video, but this one, in my opinion, is not ready yet but it is incredibly promising to the extent that I decided to make a video on it anyways because I bought it in order to check it out. And so, like, it's already sitting here, and I like what it's got going on. So in Pathogenesis, we appear to be just like one guy. Oh, that zombie sees us. Hold on. We appear to be just like one guy that is stuck in a zombie apocalypse. And so let me see if I can give him the old blappers. There we go. We'll get him in the head on the way down. Go ahead and thumb a few more rounds on into the shotgun. We got another one coming this way. Go ahead and drop him, and you, drop you, did I get them both? All right, reload, uh, he's not down, he's not down. Fall back, and pump him right time in the chest, there we go, we got one coming up on the left, I have three rounds left in the cylinder, oh, and it is not looking good. Okay, so we're gonna need to drop them as aggressively as possible. And then we're going to need to fall back. We have the Saiga on our back. I'm going to pull out the Saiga real quick because we've got a few more rounds in there. I'm going to get low. We'll get into kind of like a crouched firing position. You can also go prone and whatnot in this game if you want to do so. But I don't think they're all down just yet. Well, actually, some of them stayed down. We might be good here. We may be clear. It's kind of hard to say. Uh, but this game comes with a really cool inventory system. Like, I like this game's inventory system a lot. I'll show it to you in a second once we're no longer dealing with, like, a bunch of enemies that are coming after us. Check all these zombies for loot real fast. We've got some flats right there. We've got kind of like a shirt. We've got an e There's ibuprofen. I'll take that. Sure. Grab the ibuprofen. And then over here, just like some shoes and things. Doesn't look like any of these guys actually had anything good on them. Let's reload the shoddy now that we know that we got all the zombies real quick. I got a big pocket full of shells right now. I'm rolling down Rodeo with a pocket full of shells at the moment. Uh, but I don't have that many. I don't have, like, a huge quantity of shells. As of right now, in my pocket, uh, I've got myself... Looks like about 22 shells, I guess. Uh, we can only draw rounds for thumb-feeding weapons uh, directly from a pocket or, or from something you can grab like a plate carrier. We don't have a plate carrier right now or like a tactical rig, uh, but you can. Uh, everything on... What was that? Thought I hurt a zombie. Uh, everything on your character I can manipulate. So like this little holster right here, I can put it in my backpack. There you go. And I've got like a Burkut backpack. If I wanted to take off my shirt, I can do that too. And you like mod weapons the exact same way. Like you can take weapons and you can like look at them up close and you can mod them like in Tarkov. On top of that, this game is one of the few games I've ever seen where you can get a drop bag. And the drop bag actually functions. Uh, so if you don't know what a drop bag is, it's a hip-mounted bag that you put spent magazines inside of so that they don't go back into your vest and, like, confuse you while you're actually in, like, a live fire situation. You know that your right hip has all of your empty magazines or your partial empties, and you know that your carrier still has all your, like, full magazines and live rounds on it. And this game has a drop bag, and it works! Your guy actually, like, drops his magazine into a drop bag and whatnot. Uh, in between like loading magazines and then in order to load a magazine you've got to sit it on the ground and then you got to thumb feed bullets into it and so the game's got a lot of things in the right place 
I've been treating it like a tech demo, but I've also been having like a really good time with it. And when I have a really good time with something, I decide to make a video. Uh, your character comes with all the vault animations and things that you would expect. You know, like all those things that they said were coming in Tarkov, but they never like add them. Uh, like vaulting animations and being able to jump onto and like off of things with like a scripted animation and whatnot. Uh, those are actually like in this game already. In fact, getting on top of cars and things is a really good idea if you don't want to get overwhelmed by hordes. Uh, we've got a JF-75 magazine right there. It looks like it has 9 by 9 It has parabellum rounds in it. Looks like we've got a bunch of meds inside of there, too. A hoodie with a zipper. Yeah, I could do that. Uh, we also have things like sleep meters, health meters, water meters, food meters, all the standardized stuff that you would expect from a survival game like this is in the game. The Ratnik Recon. Dragonfi Dragonfly Thigh V3. We'll try it out. Is that the drop bag right there? Did I just get one? Oh, yeah, it is, dude. It looks like it's... I, can't, I don't know how to rotate them inside this menu right here. There we go. Eh, it might be it. I don't think it's, like, specifically a drop bag. It just looks like it's a magazine pouch. Okay. So it's a leg-mounted magazine pouch. Cool. And you actually see there's little magazine slots inside of it. You put your magazines inside of there. And then I could take this hip holster off right here, get a chest holster, and then put a drop bag on my right side instead of on my left side. Lots of fun little interesting things that you can do inside of this game. I did want to put my hoodie on, too. Give me my... Yeah, give me my... Give my hoodie right there. I'm trying to look tactical, and then we'll just kind of leave that on the ground for a second. We got like a boonie cap. It looks like there's a bunch of food right there. I don't know what nefapam is. My mom would. My mom's a pharmacologist, but wow, she's a nurse. She's an RN that specializes in pharmacology. Uh, we've got a Soviet pistol cartridge for increase. That's nine. Okay, so that's Makarov rounds, and we do actually have a PMM right now, so we can take the nine by eighteens. Um. What else we got around here? I kind of want to take these magazines with me, and I can strip them. They got, they're 16 round mags, dude. I don't know what they go to, but we can kind of like put them in this little side holster right here. And then kind of like do our thing, I guess. Like, so I guess I'll probably, oh, it's only for small. Okay, so it's got medium pouch slots, gotcha. Makes sense. I don't think I'm going to pull the bullets out just yet because I don't even think I have any outstanding mags for the Saiga 9 that I've got on my back. But if we end up, I mean, the dead guy, we got kind of sidetracked with zombies. The dead guy that I got the Saiga 9 off of is over here. There's a car inside the garage over here. I mean, he's got, he's got 12 gauge buckshot, it looks like. Might be able to do something with that. We've also got a thigh holster that's in tornado desert coloration. Just in case you like to be a little bit more deserty tactical. We've got some 9-0-3-9 sport right there. Is that for the AS Val? I think that is. I think it's a VSS round. What a strange thing to have in your car. And then we've got a box over here. I think I'm going to use this box for, like, generalized storage. Oh, can I not put things inside the box? Bummer. I wanted to put things inside the box. All right, well, let's see what other trouble we can get ourselves into here. Ugh, these hedges over here are a mess, dude. I don't want to, like, fast chuck through the hedges because they're blocking my line of sight, but I also don't want to be in this little hedgy area for very long if I don't have to. Places like this make me nervous. Uh, we probably have a shot right there we can take. Go ahead and drop him real quick. Okay, uh, we're going to need to pull a new gun here real, real soon. Uh, I think she's probably... Oh, I kicked her in the chest. Never mind. That was pretty sick. Drop her. Is she dead? I don't know. Get a gap on her. Get a gap on her. All right, go back around. Dude, if you don't... Oh, she's running away. Oh, there's another one back there, too. I only got like 21 rounds left, though. There we go. Oh, right through the brain pan. Got him with that one. Good stuff. Perfect. And the game actually does try to draw a dot. Like, based on where you're aiming on screen. Oh, that's probably not good. Yeah, we're going to need... Okay, over the fence. Yep, don't stay there. Time to go. Um, we got to, We got to get moving here. We're a little bit bled up right now. 
Okay, so we're gonna go this way, and we are going to try- Uh-oh. Just keep kicking! I am the kick master! None can stop me! Ah! Kick, punch, it's all in the mind! Uh, I'm bleeding right now from my everywhere. So that's probably not good. I also don't really have any meds at the moment. Uh, so we're gonna have to figure out a situation here. The zombies are probably the weakest part of this demo so far. They're kind of dumb and they just kind of like sit around. Uh, that's pretty much it. It's like, I found that you can mostly get away by going over things like fences and whatnot. And they don't know how to deal with that. And they don't really like environmentally damage the fences or anything either. Uh, we gotta find some meds, man. We're bleeding pretty good right now. That guy, what do you have? Anything? Uh, an armor plate. Uh, we've got a Ratnik backpack, a Ratnik recon hat, a tactical belt. I guess I'll throw that on. Mm, that's probably not where we're going to find anything useful. Let's go this way. I would just love to not bleed to death. That's kind of like where I'm at right now with my survival adventure. Apparently there's a bunch of not there's a bunch of parabellum ammo in the toilet. I don't know why they've got like a toilet gun thing going on, but they got like a toilet gun thing going on. So I'm just going to live with it. Uh, we are still bleeding profusely. I have still not found anything that is going to fix this present problem that I have. So I suggest we keep just chucking over fences and hoping this thing works out. Checking houses and hoping we find something. Uh, I found a bandage. That might do it. I don't know exactly how to use it, but I'm going to try. Did it work? Well, it lowered my bleed by one level, so it didn't, like, fix all of our problem. But it did kind of slow down the issue. Can I, like, tear apart clothing or anything? We might be able to do something like that. Uh, it doesn't look like we can tear apart clothing to make, like, improvised rags. However, I think the light bleeds kind of, like, go away on their own, so maybe... I'll stop spurting blood all over the place, although I do like the fact that I'm bleeding on the ground right now. That's a really nice effect. I don't know if I can actually climb fences anymore in my current, like, uh, condition. Well, bleeding profusely and whatnot, I gotta go into the street now, and there's, like, zombies everywhere. I don't know exactly how I want to deal with it, but maybe I can sneak past? I can't even run right now, I'm so beat up, so we're gonna need to, like make this thing happen very carefully if we survive this at all all right all right all right open the fence open the fence there you go there you go close the fence they can't get past it inside the house quickly before you bleed to death oh no dude we're down to walking uh did they have like a bathroom or anything in here anything oh no dude there it goes i finally died uh, so it's gonna take me back to the brit that's why i've been using this car to store all my stuff it now appears to me that I should have brought the bandages from the car with me. Then I could have fixed that issue. But no damage done. Let's get back into the fray. There's also like little side cricks and things you can walk on down right there. There's dead guys all over the place. So it's clear they're using this as like a, a tech test. Like there's dead guys all over the place that are holding like Mosins and things like that. Like fun weapons to play around with. We did pick up this Ratnik War Belt apparently. Which is just entirely all magazines. If I ever find an actual gun that uses a magazine instead of just being tube fed, I think we'll be alright. But for now, let's see what we can get going. Oh boy. Okay, let's get on top of the car to deal with these guys, because I don't think they can get on top of the car. So I think we should mostly be good. As long as we're on top of the car. Did I just kick her in the head to death? I think I just kicked her in the head to- No, don't do that. That was a mistake. Never do that again. That was a horrible, horrible mistake. There we go. Just drop that dude. Drop that. Kick her. There we go. Take care of it. Get back on the car. Get back on the car. You're bleeding from your everywhere. And if I have to bleed, I'm taking you all with me! Mag dump it! Yeah. Uh, that didn't kill her. Into the bushes, into the bushes. There we go. We'll give her give her a little machete smack right there. Give her a couple machete smacks with the tab key. There we go. We put her to sleep. So after going through the house, uh, I got enough bandages to keep us alive, but our health is pretty toasted right now. However, I did find us like a fun toy to play around with as well. Okay, guns are not toys, but in this case, uh, it would appear to me as though we found something fun in here. 
So we've got apparently a cargo slot. I don't know. Maybe it didn't fit inside of there. But I've got a PP-19, like a, a Vitia. This is basically a fully automatic submachine gun. So this might actually be kind of fun to play around with. I would suggest swapping out the Saiga 9. Uh, we'll put it right there. And then I need to detach the magazine off this bad boy and put it over here because I think the PP-19... And I think the other one both share the same mags. It's been a while since I played Tarkov. But this guy's automatic. This guy is not. This guy's kind of like a civilian model. So we'll put that over there. And then do I have any, like, 9mm around here? I do. Oh, that's right. i got to put it on the ground first. All right, so put the magazine right there. And then we'll take that. And then we'll load the bullets on in there. There we go. That's the stuff. Now we take that. And then we put it inside the gun back there. Oh, we actually don't. It's already got a magazine inside of it. I am curious. So we've got handguard customization over here. We've got a sight spot. We can also change the compensator. We can change out the pistol grip and also the frame. So we've definitely got things to play around with here. Uh, I've got a sight. Hey, there we go. All right. So we've got ourselves like a little, we've got a reflex sight going. Nice. I don't know if this, so the standard right here, the standard, um, the standard grip right here is not going to have the, the rail that you need in order to throw like a light or like a laser sight on top of it. However, there is one uh, that also fits on top of AK-47s. This is like the same platform as the AK, just designed to fire 9mm instead. And so we can use any of the kind of gas tube grip combos to slap that on there, and then we would have the rail to customize, but unfortunately we don't have that for right now. So we're just going to have to figure it out. Uh, with all these extra mags right here, I don't even know what they go to, but I am very, very happy to have two magazines now. That's sick. Uh, so let's go ahead and open this on up. We're probably going to want to raid a house for supplies because our health is really bad. And I actually, as of right now, don't know how to get my health back. I'm, I'm sure there's some kind of drug or something that I'm supposed to be using in order to do that. But we've got a combat vest right there, actually. Does that have plate carrier capabilities, or is it just like a, is it just like a vest? Let's have a look at it. Yeah, we're kind of like uh, equipped up right now. We got it going on. We do need some water as well, so I'll drink some water to get my meter back up. And I'm hoping that causes us to get a little bit of restoration, but it's tough to say. Nighttime is coming, so let's buckle on in and see what we can... Oh, there's like a helmet, too. Cool. Damn, dude, we're looking pretty tacked out right now. We're, we're looking... Oh, it does have frontal and reverse armor plate strap. Okay, well, if we got plate carrier, let's throw some plates in there. As I understand it, there are bandits and stuff around, too. Uh, that will actively try to fight you when they see you on the map. So let's get kitted up. Love the models as well. The models look really, really good. I think the dither. I'm sorry. I think the occlusion could use a little bit of work when you're inside. It's still kind of hard to like see things and have things going on like when you're indoors. But for right now, it's not too bad. Anything inside that container? Damn, look like a weapon case too. I got all excited about it. Are these like clothing racks? I think so. Oh, nope, don't want to fire my gun. Uh, my one observation is that the controls of the game are pretty clumsy right now. You get used to them, and so the game controls like an RTS. You right-click where you want your character to go, and he sets up there, and then in certain spots you can press space to slam into cover, and then in certain locations you can, like, duck behind things. Hey, there's an armor plate. Good stuff. Our weight is going up right now, though. We're at 21 kilograms, which is reasonably hefty. Probably affects our stamina drain while running. Oh my god, we got Comtax too. Some Oakleys. Some more Buckshot as well. Oof, we in business now, boys. We're in business. Oh, we're looking, yup. We're looking ready to operate in the AO now. It looks like with the Fast MT, we can customize it too. So it looks like at some point they're going to add the ability to put like 3-inch rails on the side for like flashlights, things of that nature. This is obviously for your... Uh, for your NVGs right there on the front. But there's also, like, side rails on some of these helmets and whatnot. The Ops Corps actually has a whole bunch of things you can strap onto it, like all kinds of wild... Oh, it put the plate carrier in. Put, I'm sorry, it put the plate in already. Nice. Did it automatically. 
like I said, very, very, very promising tech demo. It's not ready yet for, like, long-term play. Like, the map hasn't been, like, loot balanced or set up uh, effectively to kind of give you, like, a satisfying progression. But if you want to play around in the sandbox, I think the sandbox is interesting, and there's enough detail in the right place that it's got me hyped. Hey, I did have a spot on the shotgun. Nice, for both the laser and for the flashlight. Flashlight is apparently on my T-key because the game is early along and doesn't have a tutorial. It gives you like a little, it gives you kind of like a spread. So like, we'll see if we can get the flashlight out here now that we've tactic cooled out the shotgun. And it's making a button click noise, but nothing is happening. So maybe it's not implemented yet. Yeah, it's definitely making a button click, but never mind. It looks like it's working now. I don't know what the difference is. Apparently, he only turns on the flashlight when you have him in high ready mode. When he's in low ready mode, he doesn't turn it on. Laser's the same thing. I wonder if it makes him aim faster. Huh. Cool. I figured I'd come inside and see if I can sleep through the night in a bed or something. Oh, it looks like I can... Yeah, it looks like at any time I can just, like, pass time, I guess? Yeah, let's go till 7 o'clock. Be patient, you'll wake up soon. God, I hope so. Is it, is, is it, we'll go for two more hours. I was going to say, is it light out at 7 a.m. in Russia? I don't know, like, with regards to how that works. It might be in Ukraine, too. There's a Stetchkin over here. That's a mean little pistola. I like Stetchkins. Do I have, so it needs an APS magazine. It would specifically call it an APS magazine. Ah, bummer, dude. Okay. I guess just peel all the ammo out of all these random magazines that I have laying around. Yeah, just pull out all the bullets or whatever, and then I guess we'll just chuck them all on the ground real quick. Well, I got bad news. Uh, the game crashed on me, and since it doesn't save, womp womp. Uh, the good news here is that because this game is basically like a sandbox that's meant for bug testing and playing around with, I can probably walk into one house and get tacked out again, and it's not going to be that big of a deal. Still, I like what Pathogenesis is playing with, as I said previously, and I can't say enough times, it's not ready yet. It's unstable, it's rough, it has no, like, missions, no factions, no things going on the map to add any dynamism or make it feel more interesting. To me, this strikes me as very much just being like, look at this thing I've been working on. Maybe support it so that I can keep working on it and, like, fair enough. Uh, but for right now, I would probably... Ooh, can the 155 pistol grip fit on the 135 pistol grip? Hold up, we gotta play around with that. Uh, but from what I've seen from the inventory and from the customization, everything here feels pretty good and pretty tight. Uh, it looks like, no, we can only put the 155 on the 155. The 155 is way nicer than our 135, too. You gotta pump a 135. You gotta pipe, you gotta pump the one that we got. You don't have to pump that one right there. That one's just semi auto. It just goes bang, 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 bang. Uh, so. We'll throw that right there. I don't know if I just have two flashlights or... There we go. We got a flashlight and a laser apparently now. So there you go. Uh, but yeah, I like what they're playing around with here. I had enough fun toying around in the sandbox that I at least wanted to make people aware of it. Even if it's not ready for a recommendation yet and it's just kind of like a proof of concept. I like what they're doing here and I want to play it more once there's like factions and once there's like missions and there's like narrative and things to do on the map while I'm surviving. Uh, let's go ahead and, I mean, yeah, you could shoot them in the legs. Sometimes the dot in this game does weird thing. Get on top of the concrete thing. They're coming. I know they are. I've played this game. Oh yeah. Did I mention we have a little Joni the droney too? I don't know if I mentioned that. Uh, you guys, yeah, you guys need to quit it. Get out of here. I'm just going to keep reloading. I'm just going to keep popping you guys. I think sometimes the thing that draws the light of, the line of sight gets a little bit confused with like certain angles of isometry from what I've seen so far. Wow, not a bad little pile we got for ourselves right there. Uh, but so far, like everything has seemed to work. It gets a little buggy and it gets a little janky from time to time and it crashes all the time. And I'm constantly like restarting, but... You know, I've got my eye on you, Pathogenesis. I have my eye on you. You you may you may be maybe the one that 
I keep an eye on long term, so, you know, I'll be checking in on updates and whatnot. I'm sure there's some other YouTubers and stuff that would be interested to see this, so hopefully they see it on my channel and it gets the ball rolling. But I've been digging it, despite all of its, like, flaws and despite how early on this title is. You can check out the Steam page down below. My name is Splattercat. I sift through the pile to find what's worthwhile in the world of indie games every single day so you don't have to. Today up on the chopping block, we were playing around with Path of Genesis. Oh yeah, I didn't even show you. We have a drone too. I didn't even mention that. You can take a drone and you can throw it up in the air. And the drone, it can have like a flashlight to illuminate things for you. And you can use it to scout. And it also has like night vision. And it has like thermal vision and stuff if you find like the mods for it. And so you, you also have a drone you can throw up into the air. And there's like little points of interest and, you know, there's places to look around and little buildings to loot and find fun helmets and guns. Still haven't found an AK or anything yet. Still looking for one. I know there's got to be one rattling around here somewhere, but I will catch you all tomorrow with something hot and fresh off the indie skillet. Bye, folks.